all right hey guys welcome back to the channel and uh, today we will be doing another tutorial on ANSYS so as of now you can see uh, I have uh, some uh, analysis already done now first of all I will explain what the problem is so this is basically a quadrant of a cylinder and we have uh, applied some internal pressure of uh, 35 megapascals and then we will compute the equivalent stress and directional deformation all right we'll see how the mm, difference in the mesh sizing uh, can create a huge impact on your stress solution as well as the directional deformation all right so let's see how we can do this i'll just close it for now so this is the overall model i will just delete it and from here let's start with the static structural we can call it cylindrical pressure vessel right now let's start with the geometry so double click on geometry to open the design modeler now if you consider a pressure vessel it's usually a 360 model with uh, symmetry in X and Y direction so instead of uh, modeling the full cylinder uh, we will take only the quadrant of the cylinder all right and uh, that will make our solution uh, easy and uh, your results will be um, easy to compute for the program itself all right the first thing that we will do in the design modeler is go for units and set it to millimeter now let's sketch on the y plane and go for a sketching let's take a polyline we'll start from anywhere let's say i'm starting from here and we can pretty much draw something like this then right click go for close end and it will snap it all right then we can go for constraint and we'll assign this one vertical constraint because it was slanted all right the next thing that we'll do is go for dimension we'll give this edge a dimension uh, this edge this edge and the last one this edge i will change the values so this could be 25 mm this is 100 mm 25 again and 200 after this right click go for zoom to fit and there you have the sketch now we'll go for modify and do a fillet of 25 mm over here right so that's the sketch that we wanted now we'll go for the revolve command and uh, select the geometry for the axis i will select this one and apply and we don't want it 360 so we will go for only 90 degree and go for generate so this is the quadrant of the cylinder that we wanted and you can see the inner curve over here right okay so we'll close this for now and let's start with the model so just double click and open your mechanical window okay make sure in the mechanical window also you have the same units I mean uh, the same units that you have in geometry make sure the units are same so let's check the unit uh, mmkg yeah that's right so yeah let's change the view to this and right click go for set isometric and that's what we want All right so the first thing that we will do is click on mesh right click and say generate mesh so this is by default uh, this is the default mesh that ANSYS creates for you and from here we can go for applying the support so basically we'll go for static structural insert displacement and let's say we'll go for the face normal to x direction so 
if you consider the x direction it's the, this face which is normal to x and uh, we'll go for apply and x will be 0 all right now we'll repeat this for all the other directions so we'll go for displacement again this face for z direction so z will be 0 and another displacement on this face and this time y will be 0 all right yeah after that what we can do is we can apply the pressure load so we'll go for insert again and this time go for pressure and uh, the pressure is basically on the inside of the cylinder so we'll select all the faces using the control key and apply we want 35 MPA and that's it now we'll go to solution and right click insert we'll go for equivalent one missile stress and go for solve all right so the maximum stress we have uh, in our cylinder is 194.91 as you can see the value over here now one thing that we can notice is the stress distribution is basically not a smooth all right so you can see the red areas inside the cylinder is uh, not uniform uh, where, where the corner is uh, corner thing or you can say the fillet is so that's the point where the maximum values uh, is occurring so what we can do is uh, we can modify the mesh uh, to improve the solution that's the one thing that we can do also if you if you know the problem is very much symmetric in geometry and material properties and boundary condition about y-axis you can see y-axis so we also want the solution to be uh, symmetric so we'll basically modify the region where there is more stress so for that we can go for mesh and we can right click insert sizing and for the geometry i will select the inside only and go for apply and in the element size let's go for 7 mm you can go for 10 also let's go for 10 this time and go for solve and now if we see the stress is a bit more uh, accurate but we can also refine that by going to face sizing and changing the size to 7 you can go for generate mesh all right and then go for the solution see it's uh, getting more accurate the stress region is getting more uniform and that's what we wanted right now we can further uh, decrease the size of the mesh to let's say 5 mm but uh, with the student version it's limited to certain amount of uh, the elements and meshing so we cannot uh, i cannot uh, Move, uh, reduce the size further but you can uh, pretty much uh, decrease the size and uh, see the um, corresponding change in the values and the uh, right you get the idea behind uh, changing the uh, mesh right so uh, what else we can do is we can go for uh, normal stress so let's go for solution insert stress normal and in the x direction let's go for stress normal we can go for y direction from here let's go for another stress normal in the z direction all right and then 
we can also get the solution for directional deformation okay and let's solve this all together okay so if we see the solution now the directional deformation is maximum of 0 0.046 and the normal stress for x direction or y direction and z direction all right so that's what uh, we have uh, done in this tutorial we have uh, uh, refined the mesh also you can do is we can insert refinement and in the geometry let's say i want more refinement in this area so go for apply and if we go for generate mesh it might say that it's not available but it's fine see how the mesh is refined on the particular area and let's solve this problem so i think yeah see it's more accurate now makes more sense when you refine the mesh on the particular area where your stresses are more All right, so that's what uh, in this tutorial we have uh, simply created a pressure cylinder and uh, applied some pressure internal pressure and then computed the equivalent stress and normal stress and directional deformation. If you have any doubts with this one, feel free to comment down below. And uh, if you're watching this, like this video and subscribe to the channel. Peace out.